Hello, welcome to Winter Disco Tabletop Gaming. We finally have some news for the new 40k battle box, the long awaited Hexfire, which pits Grey Knights against Thousand Suns. So we've got a whole bunch of magic stuff going on. So we're gonna have a check out and see what we're getting in the box. Uh, we don't have too much news, but we got something at least. So obviously we've got Castle and Crow coming in the box and we also have the Infernal Master. Is that what it's called again? Who knows? It's been a long morning, we've got no idea. <laughs> so there also includes a 40 page campaign book detailing the battle for control of Hexenfast. Seems to be a planet and it plays host to an open wall fissure. Oh dear. And we have the box art here. I really love this box art. It's bright and colorful opposed to the normal 40k box sets we get in more recent editions where it's all really dark colors, very saturated, but we have the bright vibrant reds against the blues and yellows of the Thousand Suns. I think it's really nice. So we can see here, this is what we're getting in the box itself. We've got the baby carrier, obviously, um, unit of Grey Knights and Castellan crew leading them. Then we also have, and for the Thousand Suns, we have the Infernal Master leading them. We have a Zangor Sorcerer, I guess they are, the unit of Zangors, and then some nice Thousand Sun Terminators, which are some of my favorite Thousand Sun models. If you haven't watched the video about me talking about Castle and Crow and the Infernal Master, I might have been a bit harsh on them. Eh, the models don't really do it for me for various reasons, but I do like the Thousand Suns Terminators. Something about them just seems to work a little bit better for me. So we do have a look at the Green Knight's army in all its glory. So it's two five-man squads, but I think you can make them into one ten-man squad. And another close-up. Again, like I said, I just find them a bit more interesting. I think it's not as much color going on not as much yellow making it a little bit odd that's me that's me anyway i find that the color clashes too much on the thousand suns but you know is what it is um so we're gonna keep going through because i'll make this video real quick nothing else we can really say about it at the moment other than we're also getting the codexes so there you go thousand suns and gray knights codex it's an odd color selection because the models are basically mirroring themselves, which is interesting. I guess that makes sense. They do oppose each other. One's all about magic in the warp and the other is, no, 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 you can't do that. Get out of here. So there you go. Uh, of course, when we get more information, we'll let you know. But for now, that's all we've got, a box and two codexes. So it's finally coming out. It's been very delayed for various reasons, but we're gonna get it soon. So that's where I'm gonna leave this very, very short video. And I will see you in another one. Thanks for watching.